This video will demonstrate how to create a Team Maker survey. When a survey has been created, your student will be sent an email asking them to create a password. Their username is their email that you input into Catney. To create a Team Maker survey, click on the name of your class on your summary page. You will be directed to the class editor page. Next, click on the button Add Activity. This takes you to the Create Activity Introduction page. If you wish to return to the summary page, click Cancel. Located at the top of the screen are additional navigation tools. Once you have finished reading the instructions, you may proceed by selecting the Next button. When prompted to choose between two survey types, select Team Maker option. This collects student demographic information and assigns teams. Next, you will arrive at the Basic Activity Information page. First, enter your desired activity name. Second, adjust the start date and the end date from the default to what suits you and your class schedule. Radar practice is optional for the instructor to implement in the surveys. To learn more, you may reference the Radar practice video. When you make a survey, students will receive an email message to complete the survey. Two days before the end date, CAPME sends a reminder email to students who have not completed the survey. Faculty can send additional reminders. You then are directed to the Team Maker Activity Content page. Here you are to select questions that you wish to appear on the survey from the 30 question set provided. The default questions are gender, race, GPA, and schedule. The schedule question is to determine when students might be available to meet outside of class. Viewing the summarized results allows you to adjust office hours so that you can assist the maximum students based on their schedules. To enter students into classes you have created, you must import a roster as a CSV file. The demo file provided on this page will also show the formatting necessary to import a roster. Once uploaded, CATME will display the student files, displaying only student name, student ID, and email address. If there are errors, CATME will display these errors so you can correct these mistakes. Next is the faculty delegation page. This is where you can input your TA's accounts. To learn more about getting accounts for your TA's, please view our dual access account video located in the description box below. Finally, click the Done button to complete making your survey. In the Activity Editor page, you can edit any information that you entered and selected while creating the survey. If you make any changes, make sure to press Save. To view which students have completed the survey and their data, click on the Data and Teams button on the Class Editor page. Only you and someone you delegated can see this data. If a student fails to complete the survey in time, faculty can reopen the survey by clicking the activity name to be directed to the Activity Editor page. Begin by clicking the Edit Students button on the Editor page. Click on the box next to the student's name. Click Allow Reentry button. And finally, make sure to inform the students that you have reopened the survey. If a student adds or drops a course, you may edit the student information in the Activity Editor. To add a student, select Add an Individual and fill out their information. You have the option to place them on an already made team or a new team. When finished, hit Save and Return. If you need to make changes to current students, hit Edit Students. To delete a student, check the box by their name and select Delete Students. To change the team of a student, select their name and adjust using the options available.